Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life, my last empties video of 2018. And if you guys remember from my last empties video, I was on a use it up mission. I just felt like I had so much stuff that I needed to like use up, put to rest. Before before the wedding, the middle of the of 2018, I went ham using stuff up. I had the biggest empties I think I'd ever had, but I actually think this is a bigger empties. Um, because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to move all this half used stuff. I don't want Guillermo to see all this. Like he's going to see everything else. Like I can't hide it from him anymore. I mean, so look at this bag of my empties. I'm so happy to get this out from underneath my desk. This is a massive Smith bag. This bag is so enormous and it is halfway full and I am going to try to make everything fit into this little trash bag that I have next to me um okay I'm just gonna rapid, I don't know why I'm off centered sorry y'all I'm gonna rapid fire try to go through these and basically tell you if I liked it and if I would repurchase it um, this is the Pravana Perfect Blonde per Purple Toning Shampoo, and this is their big leader. Um, yeah, 33.8 full ounces, which I think is maybe a half liter, a liter, I don't know. Um, 100% would repurchase this, already did repurchase it, actually. Love this brand. L this is a great shampoo. That, that lasted me quite a while. Basically, I had that the whole time I started, um, going blonde, um, and my blonde's a little bit dull right now. I don't love the color of it because I did my roots. I touched up my roots myself and I think some of the dye when it rinsed off got onto my blonde. So I think I'm about to go rose gold on the ends. Would you have an opinion about that? Very subtle, but rose gold. Kind of like what it looks like when I use that Kristen S stuff. Um, this is like hair attached to it, gross. This is the Redken Color Extend Magnetics Sulfate Free Shampoo. Um, I've used this before. I would definitely buy this again. I like that. I like that it's sulfate free. Uh, Way Memory Mist. Y you're going to see this in my empties from basically now until Kingdom Come. 100% worth the purchase or worth the splurge. Urban Decay Up All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I do like this. I like the Scandinavia one better. Scandinavia makes this one, but actually I think the one they make is a, is a higher quality. Um, this is the wet or Wella dry me dry shampoo. I probably wouldn't purchase this again. I did not love this in terms of dry shampoo. It felt like it was very like alcoholy and did not feel like it was doing anything for my hair. I never felt like it made a difference. Oh, I don't know why this isn't here. This is my little purse size living proof full volume root lifting hairspray. It's empty, but I should probably just refill it and put it back in my purse. Um, this is a bath and body works. Oh, I can't lift my shoulder like that. That hurts. Um, I had physical therapy today. This is my Bath and Body Works Rose Champagne Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. I got this in one of the Bath and Body Works sales and I would definitely purchase that again if I could find it. Uh, it's a 10 um, blonde Miracle Leave-In for Blondes uh, detangling spray. Love this. Already have a new one that I'm using in my bathroom currently. This is the mini citrus brush cleaner from Sephora brand um, by Perry and Spirit. I forgot that I hate Perry and Spirit brush cleaner and I would never buy that again. It's so harsh on your brushes. This is the um, Sephora daily brush cleaner, the cleanse. Um, I don't know that I would buy this again either. I didn't love it. I really just like, if I'm going to spot clean, I just like the one from Mac. That's really the one I should be buying. I just always try to find something better, more less expensive. This is the Promise Organic Nourishing Coconut Milk Body Lotion. Um, I liked this. I probably won't repurchase it. Oops, on the floor. I didn't like it enough to repurchase it. Um, this went bad, so I'm tossing it out. This is the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Barrier Cream, safe for sensitive skin, but I noticed that that had been open too long, so sucks. Bioderma, Bioderma, is this pump top broken, is that my, oh yeah, let me this, oh, I don't know, I usually don't throw away my pump tops because they're refillable, but I thought I had one that was broken, um, eye mats is around the corner, I will be repurchasing a bunch more of that at eye mats, oh, except for actually, no, I won't, 
because I forgot that during the gift card sale at Beautylish, that's why I'm also throwing my pump top away because I bought the two pack of the 500 ml pump tops. When I say I use that a lot, I use that a lot. What is this? Oh, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Alphabet Appeals, step one, step two. Am I a broken record? You guys, if, you've, if you're part of the OG Glitter Squad, you have been seeing these for five years on my empties. Uh, this is the Muji Cut Cotton. That's my dupe for the Shiseido Cut Cotton. I buy it all the time. Huggies, this is what I remove makeup from the back of my hand or swatches. This is the Winter White Woods uh, Bath and Body Works soap. I like that one um, a lot. Actually, I thought that smelled really good. Oh, here's the sh here's the sh uh, conditioner that goes with that Redken. This is the Color Extend Magnetics conditioner. Definitely would repurchase it. Um, which one was this one? This was the Coconut Days Coconut Colada from Bath and Body Works. I love everything coconut, and I didn't love that one. Uh, Kenra Premier Dry Shampoo, Volume Dry Shampoo. I'm actually throwing this away before it's all the way gone because I just don't like it. I think it's not very good. And their, their hairspray is my favorite, but I wouldn't repurchase that. Another Coconut Days. I apparently bought those in multiples thinking I would love it. Oh, geez. That's going to be a mess really soon. Um, okay, I like these a lot. And I have a Oh, here's another Dennis Gross in here. I have a couple of these in here. These are the Malibu Blondes, uh, the Hard Water, and then the Miracle Repair. I think these are totally worth it. They work awesome. In fact, maybe I need to do the hard water treatment on my hair. That would probably help it. Um, this is the Cora Organics Soothing uh, Moisturizer. And this was weird. I felt like this sometimes, I used the entire thing because it was kind of expensive. I bought it in Hawaii um, and at Sephora in Hawaii. But I felt like it kind of irritated my skin I don't really feel like it soothes my skin. I felt like a, half the time I had, I liked it and half the time I had a reaction to it. So I, I won't be purchasing that again. Uh, this is the Sephora coconut face mask. I probably won't buy this again because I don't like those dumb face masks. I like old school face masks. A little baby Scentsy Bio. Oh, this was, I love these. This is from, oh, this is the Liberated Holistic Living, living the from liberatedholistic.com. This is their Benzenite Detox Bath Bomb. Write this down right now, liberatedholistic.com whole, holistic, liberated because I might forget to link it um, down below, but their Benzenite Bath Bombs, this was awesome. All their stuff was great. They have a little salve. It's a wonder cure. Okay, let's pull out some mascaras. Oh shoot, I threw one away the other day and I forgot to put it in here. Um, let's see, did I put it in here? No. Darn it, it was a full size of the superhero. Okay, so this is the um, By Terry Terribly um, Mascara Terribly Growth Booster. Um, it's okay, I don't love it. It's great if you don't like clumpy lashes. I love a good clumpy lash, which is why the superhero, these are three of the little mini superheroes, and then I had a big one, but it's gone. The superhero mascara is my favorite. This is the Dior, like the pump one. I didn't ever like how it, if I used the pump, but if I just used it regularly, I loved it. This is Tarte Lights Camera Splashes, the waterproof Tarte one, um, which I think is actually a good waterproof one. Okay, I've got a bunch of pen liners in here to show you. Uh, this is the Kaylin Cosmetics like felt tip pen liner. Love that. Uh, this is the Girlactic Precise Eyeliner. Did not love that. Don't love that big tip. Uh, Giordana Fabu Liner. Love it. Can't ever find it. Another Giordana Fabu Liner. Love it. Can't find it. I can always find it when I go home. Uh, well, where my, my, where my sister lives. This is the Essence Eyeliner Pen. Um, I let it dry out before I really got to use it, so I'm sorry I can't report back onto that one because I am lame. Okay, this is funny. This is two by Terry. I hate that there's still some in there, but I can't get it out, so I have to get rid of it. This is the Crystalline Lip Balm, Balm de Rose. My, like, luxury of life, in fact. Look at here. Oh, I cannot open this. Oh, my gosh, that hurts. Um, I have the baby that I got in a holiday kit this year, the baby, already using. 
Um, only one Burt's Bees, which tells me that I threw a bunch away in other places or lost them all. Because there's usually six of those in here. Uh, it Cosmetics CC Cream. It's always in my empties. This is the, um, oh dang, I let this go bad too. And so that's why I had to throw this out. This is the uh, First Aid Beauty Daily Face Cream. Their stuff is 18 months, but I feel like it's really more like 12 months. Uh, and EOS, I'm throwing this away because I hate these and they suck. Um, okay, this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Face Cream, a sample. I loved it so much that I got the big one, bought the full size one. Jack Black Lip Balm, I always love these. That was from the holiday kit maybe last year. Uh, this is an Essie nail polish that I realized was like gonzo called Beyond Cozy. Um... Oh, I'm so sad about this. this. This is the Dior Brow Styler. Um, and what's my color? Universal Brown 001. Probably my favorite brow pencil. I love the It Cosmetics like skinny brow. Your brow, like your brow skinny or whatever it is, but they're getting rid of it. Uh, this is a um, Nude Sticks lip pen. And I feel like it had just gone bad, so I'm throwing it out. This is a Youngblood lipstick, that same thing. I don't think I ever used it, but I smelled it and it smelled like it was gone. It had gone bad. Um, that's weird, what is that? That's a sample for a company. Oh, here's another one of those uh, fresh moisturizers that I used another sample of. This really bums me out that I let this go bad. This is a Dior, um, I don't even know what these are, but lip gloss and, um, cool. You can't smell it, but that was a thumb. That, was, that makes me mad right there when I see stuff like that. Uh, this is the Ole Ula Hendrickson Transfer Sheer Transforming Perfecting Moisturizer. I used to really like this. I don't love it anymore, to be honest. Um, it doesn't work as great with my skin. Oh, this is a Gimme Brow from Benefit. Love Gimme Brow. That's an old one. Uh, this is a Pie Back to Life Hydrating Serum. I think I got this as a sample from Beautylish. I'm sorry that I'm like falling out of the camera, you guys. What a, this is a mess. This video is a mess. Um, I don't even know if I liked that or not. And then I loved this and I'm really sad because I let this go bad. This is the By Terry um, Precocity Flashlight Elixir. But it's, the first off, the thing is totally broken and it's all chunky in here, which sucks because this was from last holiday. And it's so pretty. You can, I don't even think you can see it. Let me show you really, like... Ugh. it's just a mess the packaging was like a fail because look at how pretty that is I kind of don't want to throw this away but I kind of have to throw it away because I just feel like it's ruined uh, and then I threw this in here because I love these these are the um, way anti anti frizz hair sheets I just keep these in my purse and I think they're so nice for calming down the frizz and taming the flyaways and the static so that's it guys we did it last empties of 2018 you can basically guarantee that half of the products in that empties will be in my empties again the very next one that i film it is what it is it's just how it uh, it's just how it is so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that you have had the best 2018 ever i cannot believe it's 2019 it's not 2019 yet but we're right on the cusp when i'm filming this and i don't know when i'll post it depends on when i can edit it but anyway you guys are the most wonderful subscribers ever i want to thank you so much for sticking with me this year with some pretty like long stretches of time without any content and if you've noticed i've started adding i've diversified the content a little bit here on the channel i've added some planner content and i might add some weight watchers content as well because i actually really like weight watchers it really works for me and um i am back on it i didn't do it at all this year while i was engaged because i wanted to so fully enjoy the engagement wedding process that i didn't want to be on a wedding diet so i didn't at all I just did what I wanted and I was totally happy with the way I looked at my wedding. So I don't know. And I didn't ever stress out about any of it or whether my dress was going to fit none of that stuff. I just didn't waste any time stressing out about that. So, but I am back on the Weight Watchers train. It's really worked for my mom and my sister and some other friends. And so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do any Weight Watchers content, but I just might. So 
stay tuned for some diversified content here on the tube. I talk a little bit about it in my planner haul video, a little bit why I've kind of decided to diversify my content. But anyway, thanks you guys. You're just fantastic. My glitter squad means so much to me. So thank you. Muchos. Love you guys.